welcome to the channel in this video we're going to explore different ways to add oil to water to mix oil and water together in this video i'll show you how to use polysorbate 20 a popular solubilizer to mix oil with water solubilizer helps to mix oil with water however different solubilizer work differently so we'll try uh, polysorbate 20 we're going to try olive m300 we're going to try hydrogenated castor oil and lastly we're going to try isopropyl alcohol so whichever gives us the best the clearer you know version of our final product is what we are going to stay with so first we want to experiment with hiding adding avocado oil mixing it with water okay so let's get started we're going to use avocado oil hat we're going to use Two grams of avocado oil for all this video we want to mix it with six grams of water so let's get started we're going to put in avocado oil in all these four containers because the first one I have two gram of say two gram of avocado oil Some of them will vary a little bit, please pardon me. You know, it's just for experimentation purpose, not nothing serious. perfect so now the next thing you want to do you want to add oil to water is you use a solubilizer to add oil to water so our first solubilizer here is going to be isopropyl alcohol okay before you had the water you first had the solubilizer and you according to roll you had depending on what you are working with you had twice as much as the solubilizer so if you're using two gram of oil you're going to use four gram of solubilizer for for this one so let's use four gram of isopropyl alcohol 70 percent four gram
to the isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol and avocado oil. Okay, then we go to this is polysorbate 20. Then finally If I'm right, this is, I didn't keep track of it, but anyway, so let's keep going. So, yeah, so sorry about that. This is polysorbate 20, okay? Okay, the next part is to just to add the water. So you mix the oil with the solubilizer. That's the first step. Then you add water to each. Then we're going to see how our experiment turned out to pick the best solubilizer out of this four. So here is my castor oil, hydrogenated castor oil. So I'm going to add four grams of water to each of them. Sorry about my so and this is hydrogenated castor oil and four gram four gram of water avocado oil hydrogenated castor oil and four gram of water Let me add 10 grams of water to each, okay? We can double it a bit and add 20 grams of water because we want to see the final solution. This is isopropyl alcohol, 20 grams of water. Olive M1000, Olive M300. Polysorbate, 20. So let's mix both all of them together thoroughly and see our final product. Then I'm going to tell you the best solubilizer, you know, to mix oil and water together. So here, hydrogenated castor oil. A clear solution wins. Okay. And this experiment, a clearer solution wins. Whatever gives us a clearer and more uniform solution wins. So here is isopropyl alcohol. As you can see, it's still floating the oil, it's still floating water. And this is I'm still mixing this two hops. Either this is Olivian 300 or Polysorbate 20. But just finally we will we'll figure it out. So let's. Now, 
you ask me how come all of these are so cloudy the oil I am using it's yellow in color avocado oil is yellow in color so that's why they are all a bit now through my experiment so far so good the best is polysobe 20 now the side effect of this sobelizer is that it's going to have a cloudy formation it's going to be cloudy so you can for instance if you have to make a room spray or whatnot you can't use it you can't use this to make a room spray it's going to be a mess right the clearing out of all of this is polysobe 20. now in my next video i'm going to show you how to make your own perfume using isopropyl alcohol okay so it's very easy to add isopropyl alcohol to to add alcohol to oil to make your own perfume but in this case we cannot make a perfume with all of these four situations so olivem 1000 did a bit of job olivem i mean not olivem 1000 olivem 300 did a bit of job but not as perfect and then hydrogenated castor oil Hydrogenated castor oil did a bit of job, but it's too, it's too milky. See what we get? And a lot of people are worried about peg products because it's, it's, it has its concern. Isopropyl alcohol, no, no, the oil is floating, so it's the poorest of out of all the four. So here is the final, final. As you can see, the clear winner is this guy right here. So if you have to mix oil with water. Uh, and you don't need a clear mixture go with polysorbate 20 this is a clear winner uniform but milky there's no way it's going to come clear because that's exactly what polysorbate 20 does it's just like that it's not as effective as the other high polysorbate i think 60 or polysorbate 80. Uh, i hope this video hasn't bore you <laughs> it's not boring enough but that's just chemistry for you you know you try different things too get something out of it and this is exactly what we got going forward you're going to see me using solubilizer to solubilize oil to i mean to mix oil and water together so that you will know more about the solubilizer i use and i'm working with any especially um things that i don't have to come clear i'm going to be using soluble solu polysorbic 20 is a clear winner here but if i want to make something clear like um any other stuff that I just want to uh, solubilize essential oil, I can use isopropyl alcohol. It's excellent at solubilizing essential oil and is uh, amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. <music>